Hi Taurus, welcome to your unexpected reading for June 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. If this resonates with a person, um, with you and another person, this could be their moon or your moon rising or Venus sign, theirs or yours. All right, Taurus, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Taurus, unexpected for Taurus, June 2020. Four of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, this could be um, Sagittarius, this could be Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Cancer, or uh, Scorpio. Four of Wands and Two of Wands, nice. All right, let's see who we're dealing with here. All right, put you over there. Queen of Cups, that could be Cancerian. Okay. Hmm. So, Taurus, are you, what is going on here? Okay, so what's this? So you're, are you thinking about making a decision? Are you, have you been asked to make a decision? Have you been asked to come back or to rejoin something? Or have you been, hmm, are you debating? I think someone is asking you. I don't think you're asking someone. What's this Ten of Pentacles? And work, it feels like there's a reprieve or a, a slowing down or like you're settling into a groove again or there might even be like a two-week vacation now. What's this Ten of Pentacles for Taurus? What's this Ten of Pentacles? Oopsie. Queen of Cups. Wow. Cancerian. Okay. All right. What's this Queen of Cups? Wow. This feels like you're going to be making, um, you're going to be basing your decision on your intuition and you haven't come around to that yet. You need some time to think and you need some time to think about how you feel and you need to feel about how you think. Like you, you're needing some time to think here. What's this? On the off chance, I mean, this, another thing could be, is this finally a pregnancy that finally took? Have you been trying for a while and you finally um, are either in agreement or um, are finally able to um, become pregnant? Could be that. What's this temperance about for Taurus? Two of Cups. Okay. Huh. What's this Four of Wands? Oh. Are you liking it without? Oh boy. Okay. Gemini, um, Virgo, or Aries. That's the magician. What's this two of wands here? This is two of wands. Well, it feels like you're coming into um, a settling down at work. You're not going to be as busy um, and you're going to be taking advantage of that. But is there a work situation that's going to be like, are you shifting? What is it? There's a change. There's something that you've been waiting for with work and it's finally able to happen. Is it being able to shift working from home? Is it you being being able to work from home there's this it's like there's a preference to be at home to think to regroup and then bonus i get to work from home like there it's like twofold you haven't made a decision romantically oh uh, two of wands ten of cups oh, okay so you haven't made a decision I'm sitting here looking out the window um romantically you're taking some time to think about that you're actually not in any hurry um, but you're really pleased about a work situation. It feels like you're able to do it from home. There's a shift, um, with work. There's, mm -hmm, what's this judgment about? You're just, yeah, you're not making a decision. You're just wanting to have time to think about, we got 10 of pentacles and 10 of cups here. 
and then the two of wands and decision making based on how you feel or what's in your best interest as you should um and it, it feels like are you there though are you are you maybe this isn't individually though what, okay are you is this a solo thing or are you is this just a private thing is i can't tell if you're in with someone or you've asked for time and they've left or if just everything is coming together and working and the pregnancy happened or not but um you're able to be home with your person like you wanted to but there's a decision to be made here um and it feels like you want to privately think about that so i can't tell if you're still with someone and you're doing this sort of thinking by yourself but it feels like you're in your element you're pleased you're happy and you're taking time to think and to make a decision you're not in any hurry and you're you're quite liking the conditions that june brings as far as just feeling really settled with work and then bonus i get to do it from home or that two-week vacation there's something about home um and a shift with work i don't know if that means you got a time off finally or if you're working from home but there's there's a reprieve and you're very glad for it um you feel settled you feel good and you're not in any hurry to make a decision about a romantic situation it's not stressing you in the least <laughs> what, so what is it about that because it's just to see, all it shows is you making a decision and taking time um and it feels like you're kind of recuperating from what did i just say recuperating from a very hectic three months two to three months so this is all about you just kind of after a very busy taxing chaotic tiresome um huge amount of effort thank you for your service by the way it, whatever you did it was monumental so thank you <laughs> um from the collective uh getting some time to rest and some to think and so june brings that and i i guess that's nothing unexpected or or it is but i think what's unexpected here is, is the work situation um and and just kind of wanting to take some time thinking about the romantic decision but the work situation there's a real excitement or like oh my gosh really that you either get to work from home or it just it brings back the stability that you there's something connected to feeling a real fit with it and feeling like you're at home with it i don't i don't know I, okay all right you'll i'm sure you'll tell me in the comments <laughs> okay um what else for taurus oh it's like you know what honestly for june it feels like for the tauruses that i'm reading for um it brings the whole month is like a welcome reprieve there's just this real groundedness and peace that you feel and real um yeah Re recalibrating or regrouping you finally get to rest what else for taurus strength that could be leo finally a time to rebuild and settle into your foundation and to fortify your foundation and to take your time and make some decisions that'll have long lasting effects so you're not in any hurry to make a decision and you perhaps you and your person are in agreement that this is what's needed right now we need to kind of collect ourselves and think about a few things and you're in agreement that you each should take some time to kind of restore balance or whatnot um there's no anger or hostility or good riddance type feelings here it's just it's like there's an agreement to slow things down and think about things so whether you're doing that with someone who's understanding that you need your space or you two are in a trial separation there's 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 peace there's peace for you in june all right you're not in any hurry to make a decision nor should you be okay what else for take the lead feels like you finally can like you can finally get your witch about, wits about you and make some decisions not just kind of react and show up and be and do and carry and and not that it was like oh just you know no but you you have been busy helping and supporting and doing the work and doing um meeting your obligations and being there and showing up you need a rest and it's time now in june 
that you get to decide more of where your efforts go. You finally get that break to be able to actually make some decisions. You're not so busy, busy, busy all the time. And the decisions you make are out of choice, not out of like shuffling a schedule and having to make it work. This is you choosing. And perhaps that's what the, the rest is about. It's like, I just want to get some rest first before I start taking the lead on things and making some decisions. I want to think for a little bit. I want to get some rest. Okay. What else for Taurus? Queen of Wands. Okay. And the halfway point and the, okay. It's in limbo. Not sure what decision you want to make about this love situation. And you're not in any hurry. It feels like there's an understanding. It feels like you're just wanting some recuperative time before you're going to make any decisions on anything. And you want to continue to be there for those that depend on you and rely on you, but also for yourself. And you don't want to compromise any of that. And you want this to be a mindful decision. Um, I'm not, I'm not advising here. I'm saying what's showing here is that you're, you're like, now that I finally got this time, I'm going to use it. I'm not in any hurry to make a decision and any decision I do make is going to have to be for my best interest and feel right. It's, I don't want to just be shuffling and going and doing out of obligation again. That's what it feels like you're saying. Cause you did that for three months and you do it again. But when it comes to this, you're like, I don't need to hurry on this decision because this is about my life. This isn't about work where others need me or where I need to, you know, this is me making decisions about my life. Okay. All right, Taurus, kind of a very peaceful sort of introspective month. Things finally slow down and you get some rest. Um, and then that, that, you know, surprise gift of being quite possibly being able to work from home or, or just a, a nice vacation that you really plan to enjoy. <laughs> Um, you're just, you're, it, it feels like you're very happy with where you're at. Finally, there's a, a clearing. Okay. All right. Relatively peaceful month for you. I hope this was helpful, Taurus. Um, I hope to see you in the next reading. I wish you peace and safety and love. You take care.